Ness. So now that I had the chance to finally wind down after witnessing everything that I saw today at Gamescom in regards to Tekken 8, I can sit down and give my thoughts on what I love to see from this game and speculate on some things maybe and hopefully you stick along for the ride because there's a lot to unpack here. So first off, we witnessed six new playable characters as of currently right now within the likes of Yoshimitsu, Steve Fox, Sergei Dragunov, Leo, Shaheen, and Kuma. Right now as it stands, there are eight more characters left <laughs> before the game's launch on January 26th, 2024. Which is around the same time as Tekken World Tour Finals, yippee! After this, it will be the end of Tekken 7 and the beginning of the dawn of Tekken 8. So this is where I start trying to speculate about Tekken's complicated story and make sense of what's going on here on the screen, which, man, I don't know where to begin. I guess we could start off with Nina Williams leading all these jacks into New York City and probably destroying everything in sight. You have Jack 8 right beside her, and then behind them were all a bunch of Jack 7s. Nina works for Kazuya now, and it's all just business at the end of the day. Speaking of Kazuya, during the United Nations meeting, Kazuya's G Corporation was sanctioned. And he basically said, fuck you, I'm gonna do what I want, and starts ripping New York City apart. After that, declaring the King of Iron Fist Tournament 8 has begun. Which is why he says, Come humanity, unleash the dogs of war. So this is the part where I really try and put my thinking cap on. Jin tries to fight Kazuya, Jin gets his ass kicked and probably thrown into a river somewhere. Where Jin says to himself that he lost. I think this shadowy figure is Devil Jin. And you can tell now clearly because of the gloves. Jin was likely called into action to stop Kazuya or he did it on his own will. Probably laser beaming Kazuya's helicopter that we see in this shot here. And Kazuya walks out of it. And then we get our shot at the first clash of father versus son. Kazuya wins and Jin is met with his destiny. Living to fight another day. It feels like every other character besides the Mishimas and, you know, Kazamas have been sidelined in the main story plot for years. This time, however, that is not the case. As we see Lars and Hualrang standing side by side, shoulder to shoulder, ready to face the threat that alerts them. Claudio Serafino also seems to have a really big part in this story and can be very valuable in helping Jin. Operation Lightning is formed to stop Kazuya from completely taking over the world. It's so awesome to see characters like Hualrang and Xiao Yu get more, you know, time in the spotlight. They deserved this, and so many other characters. I'm pretty sure here, Xiao Yu is defending Yakushima. So I'm pretty sure Kazuya knows of Jun's and Jin's whereabouts and sent his forces to Yakushima where they are residing, along with the rest of the crew. Xiao Yu, it seems here, is defending their home because I'm sure something is probably going on in there that has caught the attention. Poor Kazuya doesn't know Jun is there and just knows Jin is there, which is why he sent the Jacks. Xiao Yu is one tough girl and she will kick your ass by the way. Like I could see her just manhandling these jacks like it's nothing. I could also see her squaring off with Nina too. While I love the fact that Raven said this, it looks like the reflection in his shades is actually the city burning down. And this is him watching on after the events of Tekken 7. Or it could be a Tekken 5 flashback sequence. So hopefully we all know that June is very important to this plot. She will ultimately be the one that stops Kazuya and Jin from really killing <clears throat> each other. They call her the light of hope for a reason. There is a reason why she wants to heal Kazuya and Jin. There is a reason why she went out of hiding. There is a reason why her and Kazuya had something. There is a reason why she is a part of this story. But a lot of these questions we know zero answers to. All that they tell us is that Kazuya and Jun became attracted to one another during Tekken 2. Nothing else really besides that. Oh, and the mentioning of Ogre. They don't mention really romantic feelings besides being attracted. I hope we get to see more of Kazuya and Jun's past together before Jin was conceived. 
because not only does this revolve around Kazuya and Jin, but it also heavily focuses on Jun's return as well. I want to see some flashbacks galore. I'm talking like Tekken 2 stuff, early Tekken 3 stuff before Ogre came. and Like, I want to see a lot of flashbacks with these two and diving into Jin's childhood in Yakushima. There is a lot to be desired from this story and I am looking forward to it. I love Kazuya and Jun. I want to see more. The more development, the better the understanding. Also, this line from Jin and the line after from Jun is probably when they reunited in Yakushima. Is it too late for Jun to save Kazuya? Probably. Probably not. Who knows? Is it too late for Jun to save Jin? Who knows? Probably not. Probably. Is it too late for her to save both of them? I don't know. Will Unknown come back? No. We just gotta find out. <laughs> All of these questions are up in the air right now and we need answers. Come January, we'll know everything. I'm really hoping for a happy ending here. I'm hoping for a lot of development with all these characters and everything actually makes sense. I just don't, I mean, this is Tekken for God's sake. So like, you gotta, you gotta lower your expectations a little bit, but I have my hopes. I just want a good ending for this franchise. If it even has an ending. <laughs> I love Tekken so much, it's my favorite franchise, I've met so many great people because of it. I mean, for God's sakes, I have a whole fucking YouTube channel that revolves around it. With my favorite character, of course, being Kazuya. And my other favorite being June. The new six playable characters that were just revealed at Gamescom look absolutely awesome. And for the fans of those characters, hopefully you have fun playing your main. The new single player mode just made me jump out of my seat and put me in a coma. Like I'm telling you, this, this this arcade quest is absolutely fucking awesome. Like you're telling me if I want to walk around a lobby as Kazuya, Jin, or June, I have to get the ultimate edition of Tekken 8 to do so? <laughs> Done deal. Like this mode in particular gives players like me who didn't get the chance to play Tekken in the arcades who didn't get the chance to have that real arcade experience to experience it with other people and it's gonna be so much fun just dressing up your character playing hopefully classic titles in the Tekken series like what we see here in the background Tekken 1, 4, 2, and 3 many of you don't know this but my favorite Tekken mode is arcade history I love getting to sit there for hours on end and playing the classic Tekken titles and just having a blast. If they actually let you play the older titles in this arcade like experience mode, I will not leave. <laughs> You're going to have to drag me out by force. I will not leave that mode. <laughs> and getting to play it with other people? Oh my god, sign me up. Best mode ever, if that's the case. The tournaments, the ghost battles, the jukebox returns, Kazi is showing you his ever-growing sneaker collection. Oh my god. And the customization looks better than really it's ever been, and we're only just seeing the start of it. I hope we get the decals back. I hope we get, you know, a really, really good advanced customization system. Giving, you know, bringing back the classic outfits. Older fits. It's just, it's just oh my god. It's so exciting. I cannot wait There is so much so much to pack in and digest from this trailer alone and the fact that it's coming out January 26 2024 next year. Oh my god. It's it's gonna be a fucking amazing This is going to be an absolute blast and I cannot wait to share it with all my friends and all of you. Thank you for listening to me ramble like the Tekken fucking diehard that I am. Have a good day and get ready for the next battle. Oh yeah, and, pre and get all this stuff. Yeah, see all that? Yeah, get that. Get that. Get all that. Gold, yeah. Get, get that. Get that. And, and get this too, by the way. This Jin statue? Yeah, I need that. I need it right now!